We know we got that one sleepy over there, so let's uh, make use of our pipe bomb. He's right there. Wake up, little Susie. <laughs> All right, cool. I love it. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Snow Biome Survival Series, where we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the snow biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. We play on Insane, and the zombies are all set to nightmare speed. So welcome back. Okay, we are picking up right where we left off. And um, I thought I heard some footsteps outside. So now might not be a bad time to try and aggro something. Um... Let's just try it. I don't want to waste a bunch of ammo, but we have lots of nines. Okay, yep, that got somebody's attention. There we go. Oh, you can't get past the thing? Oh, that's not good. Um, okay, we're going to have to redo that. Did I actually hit her from here? <laughs> okay, here, let's do this then. I could actually just barely get it back. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. Okay, here she comes. Here she comes. We'll get a little bit of XP now. We are almost to the next level too. Most. I was trying to hear, see if I can hear some more uh, footsteps. Um, most of that is from you know, all the mining that we've done. And I think I'm going to put my next point actually into... I, I was thinking about this. I think I'm going to put my next point into Pummel Pete. And we're going to make ourselves a stone sledgehammer. No, I'm sorry, skull crusher. Yeah, we're going to make ourselves a stone sledgehammer and start using that as our main melee. I wish I would have done that from the get-go, but I just, you know, I, I didn't think about it. And so, and it's not that Spears are a bad way to go either. I mean, spears are a pretty good way to go, but I'd like the sledgehammer a little bit better because of the fact, you know, that it has that chance to to stun them uh, more than the spear does. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. Well, let's go ahead and just listening. We'll lift that up. We're going to have to rethink this because, of course, you know, the zombies could not get around it. So what I might have to do is make just a little bit larger cavity here so that I can you know push it back just a little further so they can get around it because I mean they'll they'll ignore this they're going to be trying to come for me um so yeah let's grab that though because we might need to use it out in the field as well and uh, I'm going to put that down there for now because like I said we're going to make a couple of little way stations between here and like getting to the trader and, and whatnot okay let's head on out it is 48 degrees ambient, so not too bad temperature-wise. We've got a Larry over there and a Larry over there. And that, that mountain line that we saw uh, the last night is still hanging out in that area, too, because when I went over to get my stuff out of that chest, uh, he, he was fighting some seekers. There's a deer. Um. Okay. What I think I want to do is let's move this direction and we're going to set up one of our first little waypoint thingamadoodles kind of around the corner of the of the trader here. I could probably drop that. I, I, I'm sure I could drop that deer in one shot with the rifle, but it's probably going to get Larry's attention. So let's not worry about the deer until we get the platform set up. And of course, it has to be far enough away from the trader, so it's not within his zone. Let's get this guy a little ways further away. Yeah, go away, man. Go away. We could try and spear that deer. <laughs> right over the top of his head, <laughs> of course. All right, let's try that again. Nope. All right, you know what? Forget about the deer. Shouldn't be messing with him right now anyway. We don't need to be picking up stones anymore. We've got so much stone. We're in good shape with that. Okay.
So this would probably be a good spot for us to put up our little tower thing. So we're going to make it out of um, cobblestone. Which will give us some a fair amount of toughness. Uh, we'll definitely have to keep it upgraded or repaired rather uh, when Larry comes in to try and get us. Okay, so let's get our let's get our rifle out and take this deer down and if it attracts Larry then we'll kill him too. All right, so we got the deer in one shot. It didn't seem to get Larry. Oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> Bang, man, that was loud. All right, let's see if we can get Larry's attention. I want to kill him for the XP. Um, and I also just want to see, you know, how well this is going to work. I don't want to get two Larry's attentions at the same time. All right, one thing we could do is this. Let's just throw a stone here to kind of drag him back to us. Okay, good. That guy looks like he's going... Wait, where are you going, Larry? Get over here. You know, we can't wait too long because that, that carcass will disappear and we need that meat. Well, that's not good. Now we're getting the attention of two Larrys. Alright, can I do this? Shit, they're both coming. Alright, here. Let me... Let me see if I can just wing one of them with this, because I don't want to use the rifle and have them both come. Okay, good. We got it. We got him. All right, let's put this here. And we're just going to whack him with the sledge, but the problem with it, this sledge is it's going to use up our, our stamina really quick. You know, the other thing that's bad about getting two Larrys at the same time is sometimes they can jump up on the other's shoulder and get to us, and, of course, that is not a desirable situation. So, yeah, he's he's not doing serious, serious damage to the cobblestone, so this is a good setup. Got him. 750 XP. Okay, let's... Yeah, he didn't do too much damage to that at all. We just have to make sure we always have a little bit of cobble in our inventory. Um, to... Okay, let's shoot this guy. Okay, I don't want to waste a lot of ammo. Got him. Okay, another 750 XP for us. Now, let's quickly get over there and get that deer harvested before it vanishes. And I'm just looking real quick to make sure our friend the uh, cougar is not too, too terribly close by because he's been hanging out in this area. Okay, good deal. That went pretty smoothly. We got 20 pieces of meat, four bacon and eggs right there. And we have six eggs, I think, back at the ranch. So I think what I'm going to do is um, we could kill this other Larry, too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Let's get this repaired. Um, we're going to go back uh, towards our base, so let's put our jump up block here. Oh, why why doesn't that fit there? I don't know. Okay, we'll just put it right there then. Is there something here? I don't know. Okay. Um, let's do...
hear a noise somewhere. I think it's probably a, a Zeker on the other side, hitting on the on the base, uh, on the trader's base. Okay, let's go back into heal for a minute. And I'm going to set, just set this um, here. Let's get another one going, just so we always have one in our inventory. And we're going to make a, uh, a stone sledgehammer, and we're going to take that point in um, Skull Crusher. Uh, so what this will do is this will give us... Uh, well, we'll be able to make an orange sledgehammer, first of all. We'll be able to 10% more damage, power attacks do 40% to stunned enemies and a 20% chance to knock down enemies with heavy weapons. Okay, it's that 20% chance to knock them down that's, I think, going to be really helpful to us. So let's take that, and then I've got some uh, plant fibers in here because we're going to need that for the stone uh, sledgehammer. So let's grab those. We have plenty of stone. Oh, you know what we don't have, though, is we don't have wood. Frick! I need 10 pieces of wood. Okay, so... Let's make sure we... Well, you know what? If we're going back outside, we can just harvest the, the plant fibers. We'll just leave these plant fibers here. That sucks. Okay. Uh, but the other reason that we came back is we, we're going to make some more bacon and eggs because we need... To, oh, no, we're not because I don't have a freaking cooking pot. Why did I leave that behind? I'm so stupid. Okay. Oh, shit. It is what it is. Um, Can we make torches? No, because we don't have wood. Okay. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Um, let's put the bones in here for now. And um, the meat we can put in here. And the hide we can put in here. No, not the, not the stones, the hide. Um, yeah, okay. All right, well, let's go back out. We got to get wood, and we got to get wood. Wood and wood. That's what we're after. And you know what? I've got a little bit of coin. We ought to maybe stop inside the trader and see if he has some canned food for us. Because I don't, I don't know how long it's going to be before we're going to be able to find another cooking pot. Alright. Well, he must be out around on the other side there. Is that a lootable car? It's kind of hard to tell from here, but if it is, we ought to go check it out, because it could have something good for us. I'm just making sure there's nothing nearby that's going to hear us try and loot this thing. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, give us something good. Come on, come on, come on. Well, there's four pieces of wood. How much did we need for the sledge? Ten. Okay. Here, let's get this out. Warm up just a smidge. We need uh, ten pieces of plant fiber. How much is that? Oh, we don't get plant fiber using the torch, huh? Weird. There we go. Okay, there's ten. Um, I'm, I'll harvest that later. I just don't want it right now. Let's put that on this side. So if we have to come running back here, screaming for our lives... Don't really need to be picking up stone right now. Okay, so that's enough to craft this. Beautiful. So with the sledge now, I think uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this guy. I mean, because he just uses too much stamina. We don't have the stamina to to effectively use him. Uh, this guy does not use a lot of stamina though. So he's he's he it. I don't know why I call it a he. Uh, it's going to work a lot better. 
Um, all right, so let's go sell this to the trader and then see, uh, to use the coin to see if we can buy something to eat. Because we are hungry. I figured that was going to happen. And then we're going to go work on the quest and hopefully come across the cooking pot in the process. What? How did Larry get in here? Oh man, that's hacks. All right, we're gonna have to be really quiet. We don't want to aggro him. He's right by the vending machine too. Dang. This would be a really for something special. A really bad place to fight him because we can't put anything down in here. Okay. Uh, looks like you have a new inventory, too, so let's just take a quick look and see what you have. Uh, not that it really matters a whole lot, because we're not going to be able to afford it. <laughs> oh, man, Larry is really screwing us up out there, isn't he? Okay, so he doesn't have anything super, super awesome. Uh, he does have... He does have some duct tape if we needed it, but it's kind of expensive for us right now. I'm not paying money for iron. We can get that on our own. And he's got a little bit of glue if we need it. Well, good luck with that. Okay, damn it, Larry. What are we going to do about Larry? You know what? Larry can't break this door. It just occurred to me that he can't. Can we get him to go across the yard? We've got to get to the vending machine. Okay, um, let's buy all food, and that's all we can afford. Man, too bad we didn't have three more things. We could buy that can of tuna. Is there something we could sell him? Let's take a look. So, um, he's not going to want to buy those. Not going to want to buy feathers. We could sell him one of these guys, I guess. Yeah, that probably makes the most sense. Um, uh, so let's sell him one of one pipe bomb. And that'll allow us to buy oh, that something else? other uh, can of tuna. That should tide us over for a little while. I don't know where Larry went. That is so hacks for him being in here. He's not supposed to be in here. And I didn't leave the door open, so it's not my fault. Okay. All right, so um, between the three of these things, we should uh, get our food uh, under control for a little bit anyway. That's one of the problems, you know, with being in the cold is that, uh, oh, we should actually scrap that because we need iron. Is that it, you know, drains your food a lot more quickly. Let's just turn all of this into junk turd ammo for the moment. Because we have, hardly have any. Okay, so we have, wait, what? Yeah, that's all. We have three rounds in the junk turret. <sighs> okay. So keep those down there.
And I think we're ready to to head out of here. Um, let's just keep the spear in here for now. But I think I want to put this on a sledge. Okay. So we won't keep the spears on our toolbars, but uh, you know, when we're up on the block fighting, we can we can pull them out and, you know, chuck them at the at the baddies. That's a plan, Stan. Okay, well, hopefully that Larry will at some point despawn. Okay, let's move towards our quest destination. And along the way, we have to come up with a cookie pot, and we need some more wood. And I think what we'll do for wood is let's just kind of hit the little shrubs for now. Rather than uh, sit and whack on a tree, just because we have to really conserve our stamina so we have because we don't have any more food at the moment. And the canned food, of course, is going to make that go down quickly. So, I also think I want to set up. Um, oops, another one of our little towers, probably right down on the road there. Okay, so let's set up another tower here. Okay, let's kill this Larry here. Come on, stupid. Right here. I'm right here. Hello, hello. See, the nice thing about this stone sledge is it doesn't use a lot of stamina compared to like the other sledges do. So we need we can't really reach him very well when he falls down because we get that bonus damage. This guy is so hard to kill. What we should do is we should have this on our toolbar also. So, oh, okay, he's dead. So that way we can chuck it at him when he falls down and try and get a little bit of bonus damage there. Okay, so that's pretty effective as long as, um, you know, we don't have two of them. If we have two of them, then they have the opportunity to jump up on each other's shoulders, and that has killed me before. Let's kill this one, too. Oh, man, how did I miss that? Well, you know what? The I don't have... The, the skill for the long range shots. So we should probably not do that because we're just going to waste ammo. We can pull him over here, though, by uh, just throwing a rock. Come here, dummy. Okay, that should be close enough. Nice, right in the noggin. <laughs> Come on, Larry. And he's on fire. I was a little bit late getting my spear out, but that's okay. There we go. We're showing those Larrys what for. Okay, anything else in, within sight or within polling range probably would be a better way of saying that. Nope, I think we're good. All right, so let's put um, this down here. No, not there. Here. So we have a quick way to get up here if we have to run back really quickly. And let's move out towards our quest. So I want to double check, make sure everything is on the toolbar that we want on the toolbar at the moment. I'm going to start grabbing iron uh, as we go because I want to... 
you know, eventually make our iron tools. And we need uh, ammunition for our junk turret, too. Okay, we got them guys out of the way. Let's loot the cars that we can here. Of course, he's coming back. None of these cars are lootable. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Well, so much for that idea, huh? Um, Let's go ahead and make another tower here. I'm going to have to make some more cobble uh, when we get back to the base, which we can do. <clears throat> and let's see if we can pull this Larry over here. I'm going to use the bow this time. I want to conserve my uh, ammunition. Whoops. Uh, what a shot. <laughs> Come here, Larry. I got a little something, something for you. Here, let's get this. Uh, where's my spear? Oh, yeah. I love the sledge, man. Bring, give me my spear. Oh, we got our first airdrop. Okay, and that is like really close by too. Um, I want to still kind of sort of semi kind of mark it. Let's just do a quick waypoint for now. Occasionally these guys can still hit you um, even when they're standing on the ground. So I don't want to just sit there and let him go. Because we're going to actually head towards our, our quest is that way. But I, I, I want to get this drop. Totally want to get this drop. So it's landing on the other side of that POI there. Not necessarily directly on the other side, but we know that it's further along. So if we can kind of just stay in a straight line here, which of course Larry's are going to make that kind of hard. Okay, we got a deer. Is there any Zeekers around? I don't think so. So let's kill this thing. Okay, so that was the house that we saw it land uh, on the other side of, but it's hard to say exactly how far on the other side it landed. All right, can we open this without attracting attention? Let's see. Okay, we're going to need that stuff later. Okay. So far, so good. We should probably nerd pull up and see if the... If the... Supply uh, crate landed on the roof. But before we do that, let's just peek around this corner and see if we can still spot it on the ground. Because I have a feeling it's probably just a little further out.
I wouldn't think it would have gone as far as the oil company. All right, before we go um, further, let's uh, let's nerd pull up and take a look on this roof. I'm just looking to see if it um, fell like right in between. No. Okay. All right. This roof, I believe this roof does have sleepers on it. So we're going to have to be really, really careful going up here. All right. I don't see... I don't see the drop up here, but it could potentially be behind those... AC units. There's probably a sleeper right in there. There could be buzzards up here, too. Okay. You know what? Since we're up here, maybe we should just kill these guys and see if we can get to the loot. Okay. Um, we know we got that one sleepy over there, so let's uh, make use of our pipe bomb. He's right there. Wake up, little Susie. <laughs> All right, cool. I love it. We killed. We killed Chert Leader. We got somebody else's attention now too. Ah, oh, what the hell? I hit the wrong key. So it doesn't look like there's anybody in there. I think what happens is that leads out to an overhang in the lobby and there's something we can loot there. I can't remember what it is. We can still get back up there. Yeah, okay, let's leave that there for the moment. Let's make another... Land claim block. Okay. There's the chest. Nice. Well, I surely, surely, surely would like to have an AK. Wait, what's that? Oh, just a shadow. All right, let's see what we get. All right. Decent stuff for sure. Um, that's our second pair of green level iron armor. Um... This is going to give us a noise increase of 10% with for only one more armor rating. So it's not really worth it. So that will probably sell. Okay, well, that wasn't what we were looking for, but it's not bad stuff. Definitely not bad stuff. I'm not going to harvest. Well, we already have bones, though, don't we? Yeah, we might as well harvest this thing. Okay, that guy must be down below. Uh, we certainly don't need that, though. Let's get rid of that for now. Uh, and we don't need that either. And we don't need that. I think I'm going to get rid of another stone spear, too, just to save an inventory slot. All right, now, I believe we can come out here, and there's a purse. No, not taking that right now. 
not any good to us. Definitely use it later, but not right now. Okay, I think that's it. So we just got to get back off the roof without getting Larry's attention. Oh, geez, we're out of time, too. All right, guys, well, let's wrap up this episode here. Um, and we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. We'll continue looking for that airdrop uh, for a little while longer. We're not going to spend a, a ton of time, but then we got to head towards our uh, our quest goal. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.